Hi everyone and welcome. Today I'm excited to introduce you to Imagine, our brand new tool for 3 d Max. This tool is unique because it can generate AI images quickly and efficiently using almost anything as a reference, your viewport, your renders or files on your machine. Let's take a look at how it works. I'll start by loading my current viewport into Imagine as a reference image. From here I can type a prompt, choose one of the available AI models, and generate an image with a single click. While the image is being created, notice that my computer stays completely free. All the processing happens in the cloud, not on my local machine. That means I can keep working on my 3D Max scene without slowing anything down. And just a few seconds later, here's our first generated image. Now let's make things a little more interesting. I'll clear the first prompt, paste in a new one, and this time ask the model to add a road in front of the house. I'll run it and wait a moment. While it's working, I can also hide the prompt area to keep the UI clean and focus on the design. And here's the result. Looks good. I actually like both images and I can easily bring them back into 3ds Max as references or save them directly. Let's organize them quickly. This one here and the one with the car here. Both are looking great. Now let's really challenge the model. I want to see how the house looks in winter. Instead of opening the prompt panel, I can just press Ctrl plus C to clear the old text and type convert to winter. Then hit Ctrl plus enter to execute. This makes the workflow even faster. You don't have to open extra panels or break your flow. And here we go, our winter scene. Looks really interesting. I'll open it in 3ds Max and keep it as a reference. Let's compare results across different models. I'll try the same winter prompt, but this time with Google Gemini 2.5. After a few seconds, we get another version. It's also nice, but personally, I think the first model gave us a more compelling result. Still, I'll save both so I can decide later. Now let's switch seasons again. I'll clear the prompt and type convert to spring at some flowers. I'll use the Google Gemini model this time. And here's the output. Interesting, but it looks a little too much like a plane render, not very realistic. In cases like this, I can switch to one of my local models in ConfUI. For example, I'll try Flux 1.0. Same prompt, convert to Spring, add some flowers, and run it locally. The GPU on my machine handles the processing, so the viewport may feel a bit slower while it's running. But after a short wait, here's the result. Much more realistic, though some details on the house have changed. Sometimes that's good, sometimes not, it depends on your needs. Either way, I'll save it and move on. Now, I imagine doesn't just work with the viewport, you can also use your renders. Let's change the camera angle slightly. Do a quick render with our current settings and load it into I imagine. I'll close the render window and now I can apply prompts to this render just like before. The advantage of using renders is that you have more control over the environment from the start. So let's paste in a prompt and try a few different models to see how they interpret the same image. Here's the first version, interesting though not perfect. I'll save it. Let's try another model. And here's that result. This one is actually very good, it gives us a fresh perspective on the design. Let's try one more model, same starting point, same prompt. This time the output is quite different, maybe because of some noise in the original render. Still worth saving. If we don't experiment, we never discover what works best. So I'll also test the Google Image Edit model. The result here isn't too different from the original, but it's an option. Switching back to my local configuration, I can get a slightly improved version, not perfect, but better. And if I use the Flux model for editing, I get another variation, slightly stronger. Finally, enhancing with the local model gives me something that feels like a solid result. 
Before we wrap up, let me show you one last feature, Style Transfer. This lets you take one image and apply the style of another. For example, I'll take our house image, load the second image as the style reference, and run the conversion. Instantly, we get the stylized version of the house. Let's try again, same house image, but this time a different style model. The output is another creative variation. And just for fun, I'll also try applying a black and white photo as the style source. And here's the result, a completely different interpretation. Personally, I think Google Style Transfer works a little better on this one, but it really depends on the look you're after. So, that's the demo. In just a few minutes, we've gone from a simple viewport image to multiple variations, different seasons, different models, even different styles. These outputs can be used for design inspiration, quick visualizations, or simply to communicate ideas with clients more effectively. I imagine will be available soon in 3ds Max as part of the Avi Studio tools. Thank you very much for watching this demo. I hope you're as excited about this tool as we are. Be sure to subscribe and follow us for more content and updates on Imagine and our other tools.